All right, it's been a couple weeks since I planted this. This is the Kentucky Kentucky Wonder pole bean. In this pot right here, I have three I planted, and each each one I planted here has a, a separate bamboo pole here. Just a basic piece of bamboo that I got from some bamboos that was growing at my friend's house. So you can see it goes up. These ones are about six feet long. As these grow, you'll see these little vines come out and these will just start grabbing a hold by themselves, but it's always nice to kind of guide them along. So if they're kind of reaching uh, for a certain area and it, the wind's blowing and it doesn't want to grab a hold, just uh, give it an extra little pull on it. You can see I'm kind of just, I'll pull on it and then just kind of wrap it around. Be careful, these might snap. So just go through and just cut off anything that looks looks like that that could infect get infected with the blight or the uh, the fungus. Keep everything like three or four inches off the ground. That's gonna help uh, prevent any the white powdery mildew. Spin it around. I like using containers as well because you can kind of spin the pot or the container around. And just kind of move things around to locations that you want them. You know, follow, follow the sun around. The sun may change uh, directions through the, the season. So that looks pretty good. See, under underneath, you can see I got some good airflow. I got one in there, three in this one, one in this one, six total. So it comes in a little six pack like this right here. Let me just show you. This is originally the six pack that was purchased. So those are about two inches. So I had six of those. I like watching how they just grab and just twist naturally around these these bamboos. It's just really working out great. These th these things are really loving the soil. Here I put some mulch underneath, chopped up a carrot top leaves and uh, use that for water retention. Keeps it from drying up and any uh, insects that are in the soil will really appreciate having a, a covered covered soil that will make a big difference. So the Kentucky Wonders, very healthy. You can go back and watch one of my videos on the soil mixture that I use for this if you want to copy the same thing. We're just in a five gallon planter uh, smart pot here. Oh look at this one, another Kentucky Wonder. This one's already uh, about three feet. Look at the size of these leaves too. Now that is a healthy plant. Let's see here. Out of that extension it's still still going up so this is like seven feet. These vines will start growing like six inches a day almost. The ones that are sitting directly in the soil you can see down here are for some reason looking a little healthier and greener. You can see down here, less bug eating, the, the leaves are darker green, a little bigger. Look how much greener this is. This was sitting in the, the dirt over here as well. For some reason it looks more of a darker green. This is more of a lime green. So sitting out in a tray versus sitting in the dirt over there. This was just moved, it was sitting in the dirt the entire time. And for some reason it looks healthier, so. Another reason why, you, if you can set your, your pots right directly on the soil, that's actually a better situation. Connected to the earth, it's like walking barefoot. It's good to be connected to the earth. Again, this is another pole being here. Looks 
I don't know why, but it looks healthier. It got bigger leaves. They got big those those leaves are on this thing. I don't know if you ever seen a leaf that big for a, a pole bean. That's incredible. So you can see in the background there the difference in the colors and the size of the leaves are enormous. So we'll see how this one um, continues along sitting out on, on the cement here. I'm going to put some risers up so it doesn't cook in the sun. So if you were to leave this right on the concrete, that's bad. So over here as well, this I got it on the wood riser so it's not absorbing as much heat. But plants always like it better just sitting directly on the earth. Wow. So I put this extension on here. You can see, this was just like a week ago. Added this and it's already gone a foot higher. So right here we're about eight feet. It's at about nine feet now and it's, it's pretty much maxed out. I'm gonna have to add either another extension to go higher or just kind of let it do its thing. Here's all the little flowers forming here. So we're gonna be getting beans very quickly here. Here's the ones I added the extension on. These ones go up 10 feet. Let's check these other ones. This one's maxed out right here. Maxed out at about eight feet. So I'm, I'm either gonna have to add some extensions on or just let it be. Look how tall that one's going. That's up at least 10 feet already. Then I got another one over here. This one's going up. That one's going up at least 12 feet. So that's like Jack and the Beanstalk right here. I'm gonna start harvesting this. So once they get about this size, look at this. That's pretty long. It's like six inches long. Let's see how many we get. So basically every day I can come out here and either eat them raw, which I like to eat them raw off the vine. Oh, look at this. There's a lot here. That is a lot. So I'll pick all those. I'll probably cook some green beans. Look, there's five right there, just in one spot. Oh, there's another one. Six, seven, eight, nine. Again, this is just one plant, and I've been I've been picking off these every day. And if you just leave for a couple days and don't pick anything, all of a sudden you'll have just a lot of them. You can see this one. This is actually, this one goes up uh, about 14 feet. This pole right here is 14 feet from the ground. So I'm going to be getting a ladder. Let's go ahead and just put these in here. Look at this. Look at all these. Let's set this down here. Okay, there's two more. That's, those are big ones. Let's just keep picking these. Look down here how many there are. Two there. Just a boatload of these. Look at this long one here. That's like eight inches. I have to dig through There's another one. So we got a full meal here. There's still quite a bit in here. I just don't want to pick pick them before they're ripe. So the Kentucky pole bean. Um, I grew these. I think it's been a couple months now. And uh, you can see the soil mix that I used. If you watch uh, an old video of mine called. 
how to make a super soil mix. And you'll know what, what soil I put in here. Just a couple more. Oh, there's another one down there. So this is about the size you want to start picking them right here. Look at all that. So I would highly recommend you guys growing some Kentucky pole beans. They seem to be doing very well for me there. So I'll be getting a ladder pretty soon to harvest these. Now I'm going to spin this watch. When I spin this, the top's going to spin as well. Now the wind has been kind of affecting this lately because I live by the ocean and uh, the wind will want to push it westward with the, with the wind all day. So I'm gonna, I kind of turned it the opposite direction. So now it's kind of leaning towards the ocean. Oh, look at all these beans right here. Let me just count how many beans that I'm gonna harvest. I just harvested a few days ago too. These are extremely pr prolific. This Kentucky pole bean. So right here you see, once they get this size, you gotta pick them. So we got, just right here, we got four of them. Down below, some more. Highly recommend growing this. So this is just a, I think a few days later, I just harvested. These things are just at their peak of, of growing right now. Oh, look at all these. I might let that one grow a little bit longer. I'll get this one. And look at all these over here. Just, there's just so many. So that's only two plants, and I just harvested a few days ago, as I was saying. But you really want to be on top of this because, look at that big one. I'll set those down. Yeah, let's just go through this. Look at this. This is just, this is crazy. This is so much food. You could, I could actually survive off this. This is an excellent survival crop. If you had enough of these, you could just survive off these beans alone. I mean, there's so many of them. I mean, I, that's like a huge meal right there. Protein, vitamins, everything you need right there. That fully sustainable survival food here. And if you keep growing them, um, succession planting. So once they kind of are done with their their growth habit, you can start another whole nother set of um, plants. That way you'll have more to harvest afterwards. Bunch of cucumbers there. So that is a lot of beans. I'm gonna keep on picking right there. Missed a couple. Those are pretty big. Look at that one. This one. That one looks pretty big. So we'll just let the, the rest of them grow. I think I got a good amount. Oh wait, 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 look at this. This is the one that's going up like 15 feet. I'm gonna have to get a big, big step ladder for that one. Oh, look at that back here. Missed two more. This is just crazy. All right, folks. Well, I'm gonna get all my beans together here. Look at that. One harvest in one day. All those beans. You could definitely survive off your garden. Definitely survive off your garden if you're growing these Kentucky pole beans. Just amazing. All right, let's go check these beans out. I wanna show you something. These pole beans right here, there's so much weight on it that the, uh, the beans are actually, um, the weight of it is pulling down. 
this bamboo, look at this. I put this bamboo in right here and it's just about to snap right here. Look at that. It's bending so much. And you got all the weight. Look at all those beans. So I just harvested this uh, two days ago. All the way down. So let's go ahead and we're just going to pick some of these. Let's go ahead and just. Let's go ahead and pick some. These ones are too small. I'm going to grab this one. This one. Just so many. Look at these. There's just so many. Just can't keep up. So there you go, folks. Grow yourself some Kentucky pole beans. You can eat them raw or cook them up however you like. Fresh, organic, straight from the garden. And again, I have a very small, small garden area here. You can kind of, kind of see here. You can see the pole bean one there, two, three, four. And that one's, see that one right there is, that's going up. About 13 feet. It's actually leaning over. The wind is starting to bend it. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and eat these and uh, cook them up or start nibbling on them raw. So, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and get out there and grow yourself some pole beans. I'm sure you will enjoy it. All right, everyone. See you guys next time. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, comment, and. We'll see you guys next time.